Poland is pushing migrants back across the border into Belarus in contravention of its international obligations. That's according to Amnesty International, which says a group of 32 Afghan migrants stuck at the border since August were forced back into Belarus by Polish border guards. The EU accuses President Lukashenko of sending thousands of migrants towards its borders to try to sow division in the Union. Well, Poland, Latvia and Lithuania have all declared a state of emergency. Poland has already bolstered its border guards and laid more than 150 kilometers of barbed wire coils along its border. Lithuania too is strengthening its border with Belarus and is in the process of building a four meter high metal fence. Some people still make it over these physical borders and Amnesty says Poland is pushing them back. Amnesty says this is illegal. Forcing people back who are trying to claim asylum without an individual assessment of their protection needs is against European and international law. So Poland has an obligation to um, assess these people and, and see what their needs are and if they need to be given refugee status in Poland. Jacek Sarasvowski is an MEP from the Governing Law and Justice Party of Poland and a former Europe minister. He talked to me from Brussels and said the migrants are what he called fake asylum seekers. They are brought by specially chartered planes from Baghdad and some other places, not by, from Afghanistan, by the way. They pay for the trip um, uh, ten to fifteen thousand dollars to smugglers. They are put into four-star hotels in Minsk, and then they are transported at the border by Belarusian services and dressed up into in, in green uh, Belarus military reform, uh, uniforms. And why do you it believe is, why do you be, believe Belarus is doing this? It is a concerted action, uh, jointly prepared by Russia and uh, and uh, and Belarus, uh, invented already in ten years ago uh, under the Special uh, Secret Services uh, op operation, uh, which was revealed by journalists. Uh, it is a hybrid attack. That's how Poland interprets that, and this interpretation is being uh, confirmed and repeated by European Commission and and Commissional. Uh, Ilva Johansson. So, these... so it is a hybrid war uh, and uh, Poland is not allowing them in, fulfilling the obligations of Polish and EU law and not pushing them back as falsely uh, claims Amnesty International repeating uh, Belarusian and Russian Can we propaganda just clarify, lines. this hybrid attack that you're referring to from Belarus and Russia, is this also a view shared by the European Commission? Yes. Uh, they say it is a hybrid attack. Uh, these are the words of Commissioner Ilva Johansson. Poland is a signatory to the law that says that you can claim asylum anywhere. EU member states say that you must be able to claim asylum at your first place of safety. Amnesty says that Poland is clearly breaking the law here by pushing these migrants back. What do you say to that? This is allegation? false. They arrive with visa, tourist visas from Belarus at their invitation. So they are not migrants, they are not refugees, they are not asylum seekers, they are fake migrants provocators being used to have this hybrid war attack against Poland and EU at the same time. European Commission stands behind Poland on that.